Good evening, friends, families, faculty, staff, and administrators. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. Thank you for this opportunity to address you. I'm so happy and proud of all of us that we have made it to this point in our lives. Whether you entered as a FAMA student, a traditional student, or a transfer student, today we will all graduate as students of Thomas Jefferson High School. Four years seems to have gone by so fast, yet it is nothing compared to our educational journey in total. It seems like only yesterday we were freshmen trying to decide to sit in the cafeteria or the sub and looking for our classes. But today we gather as the graduating class of 2012. We look back on all the memories we have made here at Jefferson and how much things have changed. We look back on when we first entered, some of us as magnet students like myself, not knowing many people, and some of us with the rest of our middle school with us. But one thing I admire is how we came together as a class. We grew together as we fought opposing schools on the football field, at band competitions, at academic debates and dance competitions, to name a few. We went through many changes as a class, having two principals prior to Ms. Cockrell, switching to the five by five schedule, among other things. Regardless, we went through all of these changes as a class. Perhaps more than anything else, that is the lesson we learned that as separate individuals, we were, at most, mildly effective. But together, we were able to combine our talents into a powerful arsenal of educational excellence, academic achievement, and, uh, and community spirit, Jefferson Mustangs. Over the coming years, you may forget some of the things you learned here. What I hope you will remember are the good times we shared, like winning the Tommy Bowl, bringing home national champion awards, going to playoffs in a handful of sports, and the other times we've shed good light on Jeff. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact, and remember that life's a great balancing act. With reflecting on our past comes looking to our future. It is with our education and the lessons we have learned while in high school that we take our next steps into the world. Some of us may continue our education further, some may go to serve our country, and some may enter the workforce. Whatever your path may be, it was with the knowledge instilled in us that we go. I would be remiss if I did not give personal thanks and acknowledgement to certain individuals that have supported me personally through my academic journey. Some special teachers for me are Frau Mays, Mr. Rocha, Mrs. Howe, Mr. Domingue, Ms. Thomas, and Mr. Hammond. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 fourths percent guaranteed. Congratulations, class of 2012. We did it. <laughs> we will now have a musical selection titled Remember Me This Way, performed by the Jefferson Choir.
Michael Bamba was involved in a number of extracurricular activities here at Thomas Jefferson. He was a member of the marching, concert, and jazz band for four years, where he became band president and drum line captain. He joined academic decathlon and placed at both district and region events. He was also president of the Thomas Jefferson National Honor Society, as well as a confirmed Eagle Scout. He would like to thank his mother, father, and grandparents, as well as Ms. Mejeda, Mr. Hammond, Ms. Cockrell, and especially Mrs. Potters for their attribution to his success. At this time, Dr. Sylvester Perez, Interim Superintendent, will present the Valedictorian's Medal to Michael Pompa. Why can I never say that word? Good evening. Before we proceed, let's give a round of applause to the SAISD community, to our loved ones, and to all those who have made our being here today possible. I've spent a good deal of my time thinking about what I've wanted to say today. The first of my thoughts were of a speech that would, have, would take the audience on a tear-jerking adventure. It would have been a gloriously sappy writing filled with the reminiscent thoughts of our high school years, our current educational endeavors, and the humbling thoughts of life's expectations soon to come. There wouldn't have been a dry eye in the room, and all of our hearts would have been made heavy with sorrow from the longing of days once past. My compassion for the audience got the best of me, and the idea was scratched. I couldn't bear to be the cause of everyone's emotional discontent. The second brainchild was an incredibly short-lived one. The thought was simple enough write a comical speech that would keep everyone laughing and their minds away from any negativity that's bound to come from the day at hand. It was to be lighthearted, full of joy, speaking to all the things that would be missed and to all the good times that we have had. The idea sounded plausible until I attempted to be humorous without the foundational tools needed for comedy, sarcasm and vulgarity. The task was deemed impossible and I moved forward to the next idea. The most recent of the failed ideas was one which may have been anticipated by most, a stereotypical anecdote designed to fit the ever-growing expectations of my teachers and peers. It would have been a satisfying but insincere reflection of times past that continued on while never approaching a definitive meaning, devoid of any and all personal characteristics. Despite my desire to please, the longing to be remembered for something more than unoriginality kept me from preparing such a speech. After multiple failed speech attempts, it came to me. I needed not to say much, but just enough to make a point. I didn't need length or flash, I just needed to be honest and speak from the heart. The speech that I prepared for the Thomas Jefferson graduating class of 2012 is this. Congratulations. We are the class of 2012, the mighty Mustangs of Thomas Jefferson. Today should be celebrated. It marks a major milestone in all of our lives. It is the day that marks the successful completion of a 13 year journey. We've all worked to be here, and we've all earned the right to now call ourselves educated adults. But it is important to remember that we did not arrive here alone. Our success cannot be contributed to our own accord only. It must be shared with our teachers, administrators, and loved ones. It is because of their selfless dedication to our well-being that we are here today. It is because of their desire to see us succeed that we are here today. But most importantly, it is because of their ever-present ever-growing unconditional love for each and every one of us that we are here today. To all those who have ever been a part of our success, we, the graduating class of 2012, thank you, because without you all, none of this and none of us would be here today. For some of us, this will not be the last time we see each other. And to those who we are destined to see again, we look forward to the times we have yet to have. For most of us, we'll never see each other again. And to those people, we would like to extend our thanks for all the memories we've created together. For all of us, though, today is not the end. Regardless of the relationships we've held and continue to hold, we will be, as we have been, successful. All of our futures lie ahead of us, 
and with diplomas in hand and our hearts set on glory, our greatness will be sure to move the mountains themselves. In the words of the late great Dr. Seuss, be your name Buxbaum or Bigsby or Bray or Mar Mordecai Alley Van Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Thank you. <laughs>